Hi, hi friends, welcome to Lying Around Sewing. Today we're selling out our first Pride event, woo! It is currently 5.45. I'm running a little bit later than I wanted because I forgot to make my bingo sheet last night. So I had to finish it and print it off today. But we have the car loaded up. We get a 10 by 10 space today and it's about a two hour drive with a time change. So we should be getting there around nine and then the event starts at 11. But I have to go let my parents' dog out real quick. So let's go do that. All right, we just made it. It's 10 minutes before nine. I'm gonna go pack some stuff in, find my table. I'm gonna pack everything in, but I'm gonna take a few things right now while I go check in. But I kinda know where my table's already at because Sarah with a punch in the art sent me some pictures because I'm beside them and I'm excited to get started. Ooh, a coffee truck, that looks good. So I'm gonna go get my table right now. All right, here we are, 612. I already scooted my table back. What I'm thinking is I have my little four foot table. I'll put that here. And then I'll put my grid wall like over here and display my hats. And um, yeah, we're right here next to the stage, which um, Sarah did tell me. So I told Joey and I was like, you might not wanna come. Like I'll be okay, it's a one day, but it might be loud close to the stage. There might be a lot going on. And plus, we also still needed to mow and stuff before we left for Delaware on Monday. So, look at it. There looks like there's some snack booths. Oh, there's axe throwing over there. But yeah, I think this is a really good spot. I'm excited. There's a punch in the art. We also have Bardic Kitty. Yeah, and I do have a corner spot, but no one else seems to like get rid of this. So I'm just gonna leave it. I probably could, but just to be safe, I'll just leave it there. Um, and I'll make it work. It, honestly, I'm thinking about putting that grid wall there, so it'll be fine. All right, now we gotta go get more stuff from our car, and I also have to figure out about the parking pass that I pre-bought. I just parked. Um, it's the same for the Lexington Comic Con um, across from the convention center, and I was about to be upset that I thought I overpaid for parking because I paid $35, but then I remembered that we could have came yesterday and set up so that 35 was for yesterday and today because right now they're paying $27 to park and I mean I think because I'm a vendor I had to park all the way in the back but if I had paid the 27 I could have parked closer like anywhere up here but I'm not sure something to think about for next year if I do it if I'm not coming to set up the day before maybe just pay parking the day of I know they uh, sent out an email and that is a good deal if I was setting up yesterday, but since I'm not, maybe just pay for one day. Um, but yeah, 27 is what it was, the day of parking. And then if you're a vendor, it was 35 for the two days. So we're walking in. I'm hoping to move my car up here. This is the handicap lot, but for Lexington Comic Con, they did let me move it um, when it was over so that I could like bring my dolly out this door and not have to like go all the way through the parking lot but since it is a Saturday night they might not let me because this traffic like this parking lot might be full when it comes like tonight I just really don't want to fight all the people using the loading docks to get out of here because I don't really need it but I did put up my grid walls and those are obnoxiously heavy so I'm gonna play it by ear we'll see and since I'm by myself I can't have someone like drive and meet me um, at the sidewalk so we might just be pushing my dolly all the way through this parking lot hopefully we sell enough that we can get the bags down to like three bags instead of I think like I have four right now look at the doors they have them all stickered up all right, we're all set up for Lex Pride. I have like two minutes before we open. Um, and honestly, this is the least stressed I've ever been. We have this 10 by 10 space, so I'm not stressed about room. And it was nice, easy load in, nice, easy parking, which I already kind of knew the convention center, but also getting this done in like two hours, very nice. I have this hole right here that I need to fill. I think I'll put another tote bag, but let's look at it all together. 
so this is the entrance this is where we'll come in and then they have this big open area for the stage i'm assuming they're gonna have some guests they're gonna have some announcements they're gonna have some music and then so if you come in through the doors i'll be on the left and here we are look at all the color this is my place to be i love color and we have my little four foot table right here i wanted to make sure i didn't have anything high so that if people coming from this way wouldn't block the view um and then i did my hats hopefully to draw people in so they'll come and look from this direction and we packed this full i think i have oppa but i put it on the side and then there's that hole right there i did have a hat but i also moved it to the side because I'm worried that since this is all color, it might blend together. So I tried to like separate it a little bit. Um, we do have our ponies up here. I'm excited to make more of them, but I'm interested to see if they will sell here. And then we have beanies, we have shirts at the top, and then we have bucket hats, and we also have aqua bandana. We filled this sticker thing full. We packed it full. And I'm out of iris, so usually iris be, would be down here, but I do have my hot to go stickers. I hope that these don't get hidden. I don't know the best place because it kind of gets cut off. Hopefully, if I talk to someone about Chuckle Roan, I'll be like, yes, I made this hot to go sticker. Because I tried to put it up here with the pride Krubies, but it um, gets hidden. Like you can't even read any of it. I figured maybe at the bottom would be the best. Evolutions. We finally have the Sanrio, the three that I also make in plushy form. We got the Spookies on here, and I did put Boo Kirby <laughs> up here with the Spooky too. And then we have Kirby's and uh, Deep Cut slash Splatoon. Look at these Kirby's. They are full to the max. Put Boo up here. I like to put his tail so he stays in place. But I love, I love all these different colors. And if anyone um, says like, oh, they like these rainbows, I'll also tell them. But I do have some that have different colored feet. Some have pink feet, some have purple feet, I think. So we got a variety. Got some business cards here. And as you can see, it's a little dark over here because we're close to the stage, which is good, but also it's a little dark, so things might get hidden. But I don't have any lights or anything, so I didn't stress about that. Keychains, squeakoids, axolotls, tote bags. I'll probably put another tote, like I said, there. Spooky guys. Sanrio, Cryptids. I might flip those so that Spooky is with Spooky. Um, Koroks, Splatoon, Lethal Company. We have my little possum guy, Mr. Bones. And then we do have Minecraft Creepers over here, Saki and Riku. And then we are showing off the travel cutlery holders a little more. Because I, I think that these would be good too, because these are really good for festivals as well. So hopefully people take the time to look at these. And then we do have our claw machine, which we need to move them around a little bit and then free pokemon card for follow on youtube and then i do have more pokemon cards right here i'm liking it i do have a little bit of space right there i'm wondering if i should move my table up and give myself a little more room in the back but then i'm worried if that's going to be too much of a hole like a small hole to get through we'll see also i'm worried my sticker display is holding on for its life with this velcro so i'm honestly scared to move anything on this table. It did fall apart on me while the stickers were there because I moved it. So we're, we're walking on thin ice with this sticker. I also forgot to mention, I had this like just, you know, blank wall. So I did add two hats over here, hopefully to draw attention. We put Appa over here and we also put a furry little cat, if you want to call it a cat, an animal of some kind. I also want to mention that I am pricing these as 45 and then the character hats as 50. Um, I felt 50 was too much for the, even though they're made with fur, they don't have faces. And of course the characters take me a little bit longer to make. So we're trying 45 and we're trying 50. I didn't want to make it them all 45 because I still have to pay in like sales tax and stuff. And that's a good price, but we'll see. Hopefully they sell good. Oh, also magic carps over here. And then I do have my Kirby prints over here as well now with the time that I have before people come in. I need to organize this back here a little better so that everything's easy to grab and uh, get these bags out of the way because they are in the floor right now and it's driving me a little crazy. All right, the music's a little loud, but that is gonna be one thing, but it is almost 30 minutes in. I have made $25. I also just broke my bag trying to give two little girls free axolotl coloring books. Here's your reminder to update your card reader because I just had someone stand here for probably five minutes updating it. Thankfully, they were so nice, they were so patient. I gave them a free Pokemon card and a free sticker for their weight. We're all updated now and we're good to go.
did have someone look at my Pinkie Pie hat and ask how much it was, and they did seem really interested, so that makes me really happy. I think they're getting ready to do some announcements, so I'm like, let me take a break and record a little bit. It's going good. Um, we are only an hour in, and I would say people have only been here for about 45 minutes because it took a while for people to get in. And we are almost, we're over halfway to making table. Table was 200. I think we've made 130. 10, 20, 30, yeah, like 35, 135. So that is really good. I am super excited about that. There have been just like crowds in my little booth area, which makes me so happy. A lot of people are loving the stickers and loving the plushies. And my bingo card is going good. I There's even some stuff I haven't crossed off yet. I haven't crossed off. Someone follows me on social media. I've had two people do my YouTube thing. Also, someone sings. I've been singing this whole time because they have some bops. Uh, but also I've seen people singing, so I can cross that one off. Someone did ask for a business card. So like, I'm gonna get a bingo before you know it. All right guys, it's been crazy. There's a break in music. They just got done with the band. Um, I've almost filled up a whole page. It is currently 12, it's one, just turned one. I need to cross some things off the bingo sheet. Someone also had a keychain from, I think Lexington Comic Con. Someone got it for them out of a mystery bag and their friend bought another one so that they could match. That's awesome. And I've been sharing, selling a lot of the axolotl shirts, which I'm really excited about. All right, so I'm getting away from the music, but it is pretty loud out here. There's a lot of people out here in the lobby area. It is about 6.30. I'm going to scout out some food because I think I am gonna stay till nine, um, but I don't think I can make it that long without food. <laughs> Emily, my friend, did come to visit and she brought me a mango smoothie or like grabbed me a mango smoothie, but I think I'm gonna need more. I haven't been down here in forever. I think it's this way. Um, but also they have food trucks, I'm really tempted to go look at the food trucks. Maybe I'll go look at the food trucks first. But yeah, I need food. I was gonna try to make it, but I don't think I can make it till nine. So this morning I had a grilled cheese from Dunkin'. And then other than that, I've had like cheese and crackers and that's it in that smoothie. Ooh, there's a Drake's food truck. Ooh. Oh, and they have like little, like a little bar down here. Let's go see what they got. I do love Drake's sushi, but I don't know if they have sushi here. This one's out of a lot of stuff except tacos, but you know, tacos sound great. I think I'm gonna get chicken tacos. Tacos. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but my voice is vibrating. in between drag queens right now. I pretty much made bingo all kinds of ways. The only ones I haven't done yet are pronoun ribbon. I get a tip. I haven't turned tips on on my phone. I haven't complimented somebody's makeup, but I can easily do that. And then we haven't lost service. So thankfully, that one hasn't been checked off yet. All right, it is officially over. It is like nine. Yeah, 9.05 and they just finished the last drag show of the night and everyone's emptying it out they're doing like a meet and greet up there so i'm slowly packing up um, but a lot of vendors like already left at like uh seven they said that we only had to stay till seven um but i mean there's still pretty good crowds and i still made probably a hundred dollars after everyone left maybe more and the cutest little girl played the claw machine twice like she played it once and then came out a few hours later and played it again so i have so much to talk to you guys about hi hi friends i made it back safely from lex pride last night it is the next morning um two hours at nighttime with a time change was a struggle but luckily i gained an hour so i got home at 11 instead of midnight but we packed up and they wanted us out of there by 10 i think i don't know there was some stuff that went on last year where it ended at 
10 and they wanted us out by 10. Like, there was some confusing. I wasn't there last year, so I don't know. But I think that that's why they ended it at 9 this year so that we could be out by 10. But we still were not out by 10. Like, that is an hour. And I can, usually can get packed up in 30 minutes. But having to walk to my car to then pull it around to the loading dock. And that's me having a little setup to break down. Can you imagine if, like, people that stayed till 9 still had a huge setup? And I know that there were some people that were still there when I left. Some people did leave early. They asked for us to just stay at least till 7 p.m. But the last drag show was still going on. And I was like, well, I'm going to wait. When these people get done, they might still want to buy some stuff and do one last little look on their way out. And I'm glad I stayed because I did sell six more stickers. So that was $15. And I sold a little plushie, I think. I don't remember exactly what it was, but like a $10 item, $10 to $15 item. So that's like $30 right there that I made instead of packing up immediately. And I was still packing up when they came by too. I was already starting to pack my stuff up. But this event, uh, I love it. I hope that I can do it next year. I'm gonna apply again. And when it comes to ranking events for 2024, um... I'm going to keep this in the one day category, even though it felt like a weekend, like I made the money that I usually make on some weekend events, but it is going, I can already tell you, no one day event is going to beat this. Maybe Possum Fest might have some good things going for it, but I do not think it's going to beat uh, Lex Pride. The vibes were awesome. I heard so many Chapel Roan songs and that's all that I wanted out of the weekend <laughs> and to make my $200 back for the booth, which I did. So I paid $200 for a 10 by 10 booth for one day, which you could think for one day it's a little steep, but I think about it in terms of like what I'm buying for like a three day weekend, like in that same like area, like Rupp Arena for next Lexington Comic Con, I did buy it for like three, four day event and I'm paying like a thousand and fifty dollars or something so two hundred dollars for one day was worth it I did not have to buy a hotel thirty five dollars was how much parking was but that included the night before and the day of and I honestly I shouldn't have bought parking because I didn't load in the day before and it was twenty seven dollars day of so I should have just waited and bought parking when I got there since I was getting there earlier than all the other people, but it makes me really nervous when they're like, we're offering you parking before anyone else because you're vendors. And I'm like, I should buy this because it sounds like it's going to be busy. I could have been fine. I'll probably wait next year and buy it the morning of. And then for food, I mostly snacked all day. My friend Emily bought me a smoothie. Don't know how much that was. She wouldn't let me pay her back, but I really appreciate it because um, I had free passes and I was like, come visit me. I'm all alone. And so Emily bought me a smoothie and then I did buy myself tacos, which was probably like 11 to $12 at like six o'clock. And then I bought Taco Bell on the way home, which was another like 10 bucks or whatever, but not nothing to complain about. I did beat my thousand dollar goal. I think we beat it within, within half of the event for sure. So it lasted from like 11 to nine, I would say about by three the thousand dollar mark and i'm over the moon like it beats my one day conventions even ocean city comic con from 2022 i checked and it did beat that one as well so it is my best one day convention to date i do think that it is mostly for kentucky artists i think you can vend but you do have to pay more because they want to keep it local and they do prioritize people in the LGBTQ plus community. So they do ask that on the application. And that doesn't mean that you won't get in. They just want to prioritize those people that identify with that because it is a pride event. Well, let's talk some things that were awesome that happened, mostly having to do with Chapel Roan. I have my bingo sheet and honestly, I, I'm pretty sure I bingoed all which way and every way. I could not keep up with it because it was so busy. It was non-stopped and it's not like I was like stressed and running out of energy. It's like one person would come or maybe two people would come and buy things and then they would leave, my booth would be empty 
and then like not even a minute later another person walks by looks around buys something like there was pretty good there wasn't a lot of people that were like i'm gonna come back they were like i'm here it's one day if i like it i'm gonna buy it i think i sold at least 15 hot to go stickers and if you didn't see them i don't know if i showed them off i did this quick little sketch a couple of nights before the event that is hot to go based on the chapel room song with a little chinese takeout and they did really good i was worried they would kind of get overlooked because i have axolotls and pokemon and kirby's and this one i put at the very bottom so that it would be seen better i think you guys see saw it and it did get seen so i'm very happy about that i did give one to a drag queen that performed hot to go and i found them and i was like did you just perform the hot to go and they're like yeah i was like I want to give you this. I for totally forgot to like compliment them. I totally forgot to be like, you did a great job. I loved it. I was just like, here. And they're like, oh, thank you so much. I was like, you're welcome. And like left. I'm, and then when I got back to my booth, I was like, I didn't even tell them that they did a good job. I hope that they knew that I was like fangirling basically and that I did enjoy their performance. But it was really good. They had three different drag shows, I think. And then they had like American Idol themed show. And then they had a couple of bands that came and performed. So lots of entertainment. It was really loud by the stage, but honestly, I'm not complaining because that was like prime real estate. That was the place to be. People could like watch the show and then also like downtime look around and they see me. And also I'm dancing, jumping up and down, loving the songs, I'm vibing. And I'm sure that that also brought over some customers because I do remember seeing some people that like looked over at me and then not long not long after that they came over there and like bought a link cat from me i think so maybe i i was just like one of those little car sales guys that's like blowing in the wind but instead i'm like dancing and they look over at me because i'm funny looking and then they're like oh wait she actually has some really cool stuff we should go check that out <laughs> that that was me uh one of my favorite things that happened was kind of like later in the night i was probably like seven o'clock maybe six thirty, and this group of people came over and were walking around my booth and they came right up to like where they were going to check out they hadn't they didn't have anything they were just looking and one of the drag queens was performing pink pony club and immediately that first chord me and this other person was like ah oh, yes let's go and they turn around and they're like, I'll be right back. I promise we'll be back and run to the stage. And I'm like, no, you're gonna, don't blame you. I have a sticker to show you when you get back. They run and sure enough, when it was over, they did come back like immediately. And I was like, okay, here, let me show you this sticker. I have this hot to go sticker. And they're like, okay, yes, I need that. And was looking at all the other stuff. We were bonding and chatting, which was one of my bingo cards that was talk to me about Chapel Roan. So I got to cross that one off. And their friend was like, oh, show them your bracelets. And they had three different bracelets. One of them was Karma, which is also a Chapel Room song. I don't know if you guys can see it. And they also had Hot To Go and they also had Good Luck Babe. And they're like, do you want a bracelet? Like which one? And they held out them and I was like, oh, I want Karma. And I was like, you can have the Hot To Go sticker for free. It'll be a trade. And they're like, oh really? I was like, yes, please, let's do a trade which was also another thing on my bingo <laughs> list. So I crossed that off. And so they looked around. I think that they bought a Korok plushie too. And then they also got a few more stickers. I think maybe like Mothman or whatever. And I saw that they had a Chapel Roan print. That's the like Midwestern princess look. I think it's on the cover of the album. And I was like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? That looks so good. And they said that another artist in the back had it. And then it also comes with a Pink Pony Club sticker. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. I'm going to have to check it out. So they bought that stuff from me and left. And then maybe a couple drag queens later, they played Good Luck Babe. Again, freaking out. And maybe 30 minutes later that all this happened, they come back. And they have a print. I don't have the print. It's in my car. But they are like, we went and got this for you because we knew you probably wouldn't be able to leave. We've been vending earlier today too, so we got this for you. I'm like, stop. Literally, tears are welling in my eyes. I'm like, no, thank you. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. And they did have the pink pony sticker too. Because... Are you making noises? 
<laughs> Chewie's outside making noises. They had the sticker too, and I was just, I was so happy. It made my whole night, which it was already a great night, but it made a great night even better. And it's a moment that I will remember forever. I'm gonna put the print up somewhere in my room for sure, probably frame it so that I can remember that. And that was just so sweet of them. And I was like, oh, pick another sticker. Like, pick as many stickers as you want. And they're like, no, I don't want to take your product. I'm like, please, please, I'm, I really want you to take another sticker. Like, I need to give you something else. So they grabbed an Umbreon sticker as well. But that was just so sweet. I've honestly never thought about, like, if someone compliments it and, like, really likes another artist's work that I have, like, at a convention, like, going and buying it for them. I've never... That was so sweet of them to think that because I I don't know I just forget that that's something that you could do and I mean I could have like already had gotten the print by accident like ran got the print and then they came back and now I have two prints or like oh I already got it but I don't they didn't think about that you know they were like I'm gonna get her this print and hope that she didn't already buy it for herself and I hadn't I had ran to the stage to videotape the drag queens but that was the only time i left <laughs> other than the bathroom so i don't really know what my biggest seller was i really sold a lot of everything i will say my pride merch that i bought other than like the hot to go if you want to consider it pride didn't sell as well so i brought pride kirby's the rainbow ones that i've been working on for a while and they didn't start selling until i sold like most of the other colors like i sold out of pink i sold out of black um, I have so many of blue. I will, I don't, blue's really popular, but it's not as popular anymore that I have, now that I have like 15 blues made, it does not sell, <laughs> of course. But yeah, I sold maybe a handful of Rainbow Kirby's and then I only sold one of the pride hats, the rainbow colored hats that I made into animals and stuff. And I do think that that might have been a little bit because all the colors kind of blended together and so it was hard to see. I think if I put it on a mannequin head or something so that they can see that the ears are different and they hang and it's really cute, then maybe it would sell. But I'm not worried about that because I can take leftover stock to Oticon and that will count as my 50-50 fan art original art. So I'm not worried about that because sales were so good. I sold Pochita, I sold both of my Mimikyus, I sold a couple of Umbreons. Uh, I did a deal with someone that wanted the Pinkie Pie and a Vaporeon, and since they bought two, I did cut them a deal. Koroks, I only have one Korok left. Now, granted, I did mark it down to $10 because I probably started the event with 20 Koroks, and I usually sell them at 15, but I marked them as 10 for this event, and I only have one left. Let's see, I had probably four or five people play the claw machine and they only have two keychains left so i'm gonna have to restock keychains soon but i won't have another like 10 by 10 space for a while so that's not my priority right now because i can really only do the claw machine on a 10 by 10 space no face was really popular i think i only had four but they sold and then of course ghost face sold beanies were pretty good um pikmin bucket hats were pretty good I did sell a few of the Pride Kirby stickers too. I think maybe two or three. So also those weren't like crazy popular either. But I don't know if I sold a whole lot of Kirby stickers in general. It was kind of just a mix of everything stickers. And I sold a Minecraft Creeper too. But yeah, other than that, that was a quick little breakdown of what I sold. <laughs> I had a great time. I will have it on the list to do again next year. The only thing is too many games in Pennsylvania was the same weekend. I did too many games last year. I don't know if they always have pride on the last Saturday of the month, but I think that that's the same as too many games is always last Saturday or last weekend in June. I don't know. I would have to travel to too many games, but I also did really good at too many games. And if it works out where Joey also gets the last week of June off, then we can stay with his family and visit them for like two weeks. And I could go to the convention there and I wouldn't really have to pay for, like, a hotel or anything. But I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. And I think that that's all I have to say about the event. Like, I could talk to you guys for another hour about this event. But I did really enjoy it. 
and it's time to go visit Joy's family and then prep for TrotCon. And I've decided I'm going to order just bolts of fabric from Joann's for the colors that match. Thank you, Teeny Frogs, for helping me find colors that will work from the po for the ponies. They were a huge help. And I'm going to order that. That way it'll be here when we get back. And I'm just going to make, like, ponies. I'm going to do the main six. I'm going to try to make at least three of every pony. And then, if I have time, make the other ponies that I think people would like that's, like, popular. And for my table setup, I think I'm going to make it where it's literally the hats um, are just on display on the table and I maybe have the cubbies below have the other little plushies and stuff But I'm gonna make the hats are gonna be at the front of the table. It's not gonna be hanging up or anything They're gonna be like Mannequin head mannequin head mannequin head or like the little collapsible things. They're gonna be boop 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 right in your face and then I might have um, The wall behind me hold like Pokemon ones or something that's not as pony but we're gonna we're gonna focus focus on ponies. I'm also gonna try to make some pony stickers if I can to have a little bit of a cheaper option. I also thought it would be really cute to make a pony uh, Kirby where it's like just the the face and do the color and then have like a little horse mane and then just give it like feet. Maybe not even give it arms, just like feet and like the mane. But we'll see what I have time for because I really only have a week to prepare specifically pony stuff for this convention. And that's that's all. That's my rant. That's my first ever Pride event that I am selling at and I loved every second of it. So definitely check out Pride events in your area. If you make and like the nerd and weeb stuff, odds are there's kind of some crossover there. So your stuff would probably sell good too. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave me a comment below if you have sold at a Pride event or been to a Pride event, if you're okay with sharing that. But let me know, because I want to know if you guys have seen that there's an overlap with the Pride community and the weebs <laughs> of us out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye!